city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and it's looking like Canada and RPT are now beffing. Yes. Something I personally didn't see happening in 2024. Now, if you're not aware, there's a rapper named Top 5, and he comes from Toronto. Academics has interviewed him a few times, and he calls himself Drake Shooter. Now, he was recently released from prison after beating what I believe was a Moira case. And here's a clip of that video, just in case you guys didn't see it. A high-profile Toronto murder trial is over before it even began. The rapper, called Top Five, whose real name is Hassan Ali, was charged in the shooting death of a student. But in court today, the judge tossed out social media evidence, essentially staying the case. CTV's John Woodward has been following the story. And John, tell us more about the significance of today's ruling. Sandy, prosecutors conceded there was no chance of convicting Hassan Ali after a judge ruled his rap videos and lyrics were inadmissible. Innocent man just came home, right? That's Hassan Ali, known as rapper Top 5, leaving court a free man for the first time in more than three years. Hope they find whoever did that. I'm an innocent man, you know what I mean? Ali was wanted in 2021 for the shooting of 20-year-old college student Hashim Omar Hashi, gunned down in what appeared to be a case of mistaken identity. Ali accused of being a member of the Go Get Em gang, the third man in this vehicle. The alleged motive, revenge for the killing of Ali's brother Saeed Ali, known as Foolish in 2017. But Ali didn't surrender. He went underground, taunting police and proclaiming his innocence on social media live streams. Like, I ain't do shit. Everybody know I ain't do shit, but save that for God. After he was arrested in Los Angeles, he filmed part of a rap video behind bars. Among the evidence, authorities were expecting to use a rap lyric. I was 18 when I bought a gun. 22 when I shot your son. Uh. That rap lyric ruled inadmissible, along with other videos leading the Crown to stay the charges. Ali sitting in court couldn't believe it, saying, I get to go, and then is this a joke? As his family started crying. I think the evidence um, against um, Hassan was uh, entirely circumstantial. Ali claimed the Go Get Him gang is just a record label and denied those lyrics had anything to do with Hashi's murder. It's important for all drillers to, perceive, to portray themselves as the biggest, baddest gangsters on the planet. That's what sells. That's what all drillers are doing. But the truth of the matter is you far... You freed me! You freed me! Me, I'm home! As Top 5 beat a rap, he says he's going back to making music. The charges are stayed, which means prosecutors can reactivate them within a year, though that hardly ever happens. Sandy? All right, CTV's John Woodward. Now, I guess Top 5 been buzzing around his city of Toronto for a little while now. I personally only know him through academics platform, but it seems like he now has a problem with Lord D thing, who hails from the RPT, because he took to his stories and said this, he rides with birds so much, he killed one, RPTK, with a photo of D thing in the background. Now, when I seen this, I was automatically confused. What happened? How is he RPTK? And where did this come from? And so was everybody else, as you can see from the comments in my posts. Like, niggas is really about to start beffing with Canada? Like, I, I don't get what's going on. They mad far away, which makes it even more crazy to say RPTK. Like, they beefing with the YGs? And what did they even do to each other? See, some people are saying this is just a clout chaser move from Top 5. He just got out of jail. He's trying to get his name out there or whatever have you. And I guess he was fishing for a response. But D-Thing didn't respond, so I guess that didn't work. But I'll keep you guys updated on the newest war that's going on in the city. RPT versus Toronto. And pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Niggas acting crazy, but don't ever step foot in their 80s. No need when me my order from Haiti. The way we I them niggas was wavy. They ain't see the face like Swayze. Shit getting serious, tell them we ain't playing.